Hi everyone, welcome back. And today I'm gonna demonstrate how uh, a lightning file upload and lightning file card works. Both of them are uh, base components from lightning and they deal with files. So for the sake of doing this, I have included the existing components along with the file upload component and the lightning file card component which is not visible right now in this uh, student record page, student detail page. Now why I had to do this is because this lightning file upload base component doesn't work in a standalone app or in a lightning out app. Earlier I was showing these two components in a standalone app and it was working fine but now I have to use this component so I've just included all these components in a lightning page so uh, let's get started uh, I'm gonna just show you what exactly I have done here so let's say I have a, a new student by the name of Tom Cruise age 47 uh, department Hollywood as soon as I click on the submit as expected it shows up here but now we want to upload a file pertaining to this student but as you can see this particular control is disabled why because every file that we are planning to upload has to be associated with a certain record and since I haven't yet provided this file upload control that record it's disabled so now let's provide it with that record ID. As soon as I select this record, this gets enabled because now we know that any file that I'm going to upload now will be associated with this particular record. So let's go ahead and do it and click on upload file. And I get to see this window. I browse, choose, and upload is done. As soon as the upload takes place, we get to see the lightning file card in action. It gives us a, a thumbnail view and now I'm going to click on it. Yeah, take your time, take your time. So here we have the preview. Okay, 11 pages. That's why it had it take takes so much time. Anyways, so now I'm going to close it. And I'm going to show you later in my blog how exactly I implemented it. Okay? So follow my blog now.